look, when we go through stuff, it's it's an opportunity for us to learn something. So, no, learn. Wait, what did you learn from Nothing. this experience? Don't fall out. I know what you learned. Not to fall out. <laughs> I know exactly what you learned. That you ain't taking your tail in an MRI machine. Never. Never ever no. a day So in even your if life. they find something wrong with my thumb and they got to do something with it, you just going to have to buy fake <laughs> Because I'm not going back. What's up, good peeps? Hope y'all having a fabulous day. Uh, we are having a fabulous day. It's around about 11.15, so it's time to eat breakfast, of course. And the freaking queen, she put in a request this morning that she wanted a breakfast burrito. And guess what your boy said? I got you, but I'm just not going to just make any old breakfast burrito. I'm going to make her a low-carb breakfast burrito. And this is what I'm going to be using, just in case you decide you want to make you one, man. So here is the burrito wraps. And these are carb counters. And these ones are only like five net carbs for each uh, tortilla. And of course, I'm using the Morningstar sausage patties. You don't have to use it. You can use any kind of sausage that you want. Uh, I'm going to use some of the black salt, some black pepper, of course, some eggs, and the good old shop cheese, man. All right, so let's go ahead and get this daggone burrito made, man. what y'all we got great news that uh our camel our new camel tops will be here for the bathroom in two weeks so we got that taken care of already and we didn't have to go over there we was able to do everything over the phone thank god yeah so i'm gonna let you get back to work man so i'm gonna eat my eat my burrito thank you yeah. yo what's up family it's the next freaking day did you enjoy the breakfast that I fixed you yesterday, Mike? Oh, it was bomb. Yeah, the bum like, breakfast burritos always hit right back. It hit me right here. Was those the almond flour burritos? Yeah, uh huh. They were good. Yeah, it was close. I meant to ask you yesterday. I was like, it tastes a little different, but it was so good. But yeah, y'all, we actually on a ride right now because uh, just wasn't having a good day. Uh, well, good day. Some things happened and just, just sent me over the edge. I was frustrated, rent. So the queen was like, let's go. Uh, let's get in the car. Let's go for a ride and ride. Yeah. So, uh, um, that's why I so much love my queen. She, when I, when I go off the deep end, she, she know how to bring me back. <laughs> so, hey, riding, cooch, and food. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably yeah. in that order. So, I, uh, now I'm going details of what happened, but I hope you can relate is when you're trying to accomplish something that's supposed to be like easy. hella easy and it turned up being like the hardest thing ever to get done. So, yeah, that that's going on. So, if you can relate, put that in the comments. If you can relate to that, it's like you when you go into something like, and it's supposed to be easy, it's gonna be, you know, gonna be all good. The result I need is gonna happen, it's gonna be blessed. And then through the whole process, you're like, really? It's yeah. gonna be this hard for real? <laughs> and you, and you, and you know, when you're in a, a freaking bad place, when you put your hands up, you be like, I just don't know no more. That's what I told the queen. It's like, I just, I just don't know no more. 
I mean, if, if you are, if I know we all I admit, mean, I hope you can relate to that. I just don't know no more. But it's always good, man, to have somebody in your life that when you at that place of I don't know no more, and they know what to do to get you back to the point where you know now. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm getting there. You know, you know, we've been talking. We talked it out, and you know. She reason with it, cause you know when you upset and you know in your in your goddamn feelings, you know whatever you feel, you just say. So, but just thank you, bad. baby. Thank you, yeah. baby. <laughs> no, thank you, because <laughs> you definitely let me get my skit off. <laughs> I'm just yeah. returning the favor. Ah, uh, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I still don't know where the hell we going. We just we riding though. We riding. Hey, <laughs> riding dirty. We riding. Yeah. And we try not to be in our bag because we have this thing and I know words have power, but I'm also realistic and I like to speak what's real in my life. And I always tell Stanley, I was like, did you really expect something to be easy for us? Hmm. Like when it comes to things, nothing is easy. Like other people can do things and you'd be like, how in the hell did that work like that for you? For me? It'd be an act of Congress for that to work out. <laughs> and then you'll have things where life would just surprise you and you'd be like, Wow. Wow. How did that, that happen? happen for me? Yeah, how did that happen? <laughs> like Brown said, me? Right. <laughs> but yeah, like I told him, I say it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's, it's all gonna be well. Yeah. It is Hopefully. what it is. <laughs> I mean, either way, it's, it's yeah. all gonna be well. Uh Oh. Yeah, so we just so we just we just riding right now. I don't know where we going. We just oh, no. we riding, so we just gonna we just gonna end up somewhere. All right, y'all, we lost. <laughs> <laughs> We're just a little bit displaced. Yeah, we are lost and trying to find our way. Uh, what are you trying to take us to anyway? Um, I thought it was coming out the backside of Short Pump. But there you go. They're going to pump road that way to the right, man. To the right, so I need yeah. to go this way to pump road. Yeah. But this is John Rolf. So, I need to go that way. Wait a minute. Let me see where we're at. I yeah, know where you, I'm at. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What? I know where I'm at. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> this, this is my old hood. <laughs> this is my old hood. I need to make a U turn. You need to make a U-E? Go ahead and make that U-E right there. I'm going to make a U-E. All right, man. We unlost now. I know. I know. We yeah, unlost. Yeah, yeah, we unlost now. <laughs> so the queen decided that we gonna come on up here to Burger Bar. Uh, yeah. We didn't want to take no chances. We knew that the food was good. Yeah. So all the OGs on the channel, y'all already, already know about good. Burger Bar. Here we go. Right there, Burger Bar. They got the best burgers. Well, one of the spots with the best burgers here in Richmond. All right, you know what you ordering? The East Coast, of course. All right, too. And I'm gonna get the, the pit boss, man, because that girl is fire. Uh, we love that water, see, you see, it looks so good, down there. Yeah, so good, so good. Can't wait to the food get here, man, because I'm stalled. I trust me. They cook their fries, man. They fries, butter, and there's yeah. that chipotle and honey mustard sauce right there. So we told them to bring their fries and the burgers at the same time, so hopefully the burgers are uh, gonna follow. <laughs> All right, y'all, the motherfucking burgers are here. Absolutely. So that's the East Coast food. Lift that bun off that hood right there, so we can see what's underneath for that mic. So we got the bacon, the red onion, and the brie cheese. The brie cheese just sets it all the way off. Yeah. Um, and the chipotle barbecue. So that's the pit balls. Uh, that's the pit balls, man. They got a little bit of everything up on here. Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, uh that barbecue what sets it off, though. That's a lot, man. Yeah. <laughs> this might be the thumbnail. Mm. All right, y'all. So we we done, we done came out of Burger Bar, and look who a, a frog, this frog, laid up on our windshield, and said he wanted to catch a ride home. <laughs> I mean, just staring me in my face. I said, Stanley, if we had gotten this car, and that frog would have jumped on me. 
god. And I'm still like, I'm still a little freaked out that yeah, he's just he just he just ride, man. Hey, you need to pay you need to pay fair, man. You can't ride here for free. Oh my god. Give me a couple dollars for gas money or something. Cause I gotta go to I'm gonna go to Ross, and I don't want the frog jump on me. <laughs> Oh, what the frog is for me? Oh my God! He holding on though. Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh, God. Oh, where did he come from? I don't know. Maybe. Just... Ah, I'm not afraid of him. I just don't want him on you. You don't want him to pee on you. Oh, I forgot that pee. I just don't want him on me. I don't care if he pee or not. <laughs> I mean, if you're on me, it's just <laughs> battles lost. Oh my God. Will it be wrong if I turn the windshield wiper blades on? He probably gonna fly once you get going on the road. I'm not gonna pick up that much. Um, All depends on how how um, powerful his suction cup she is, Mike. I might hit. <laughs> ah. Turn the windshield wiper blades on. That nigga might knock him back down. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, he just sit up there just breathing. So we have a broad idea of how we're gonna get rid of the of the frog. Gonna go over into the sprinkler and let the water wash him off, man. Or at least enough that he will that he'll, like, that he'll jump. So where was it coming out at? So the sprinkler is right, is hitting right here. Uh, let's see. Where is it? The, do it. Did it turn? See it over there, do it like it was one right here. Like I literally watched it because it's wet right here. Oh. And then when I pulled in. <laughs> Said so much for that idea, man. I'm trying to see if it was this one that was. If it's gonna turn back this one, gonna turn this way. That's so much for that plan, man. But probably the timer that was on the one right there probably went off, man. By the time I drove over here. Yep. Like I and I know I ain't tripping because look at the ground. Yeah. They're definitely wet, wet over here. Or sure. maybe when I drove over here, maybe the sensor makes it turn off. And look, look, you can see them good now. Okay. Here you go. Just sitting there like you're right. I'm trying to get you off, buddy. Listen, um, I gotta get myself together. Listen, um, so let me catch y'all up to speed. So, the class that we were going to, the dance class that we were going to, me and Sasha shows up. We finally meet each other because we didn't know exactly where it was. Well, it was on the inside of the mall. So we get to where the studio is and Sasha looks at me and she was like, Lynette, this looks like it's closed. I was like, no, nah, it ain't closed. It's just a little dark and a little intimate. We both pull on the door and that bastard is, is locked down. Like there's nothing. So we're, and I had told her, I said, when I reached out to you this morning, something told me to ask, were we still on? Because all the remnants of this class like disappeared off of Instagram other than the initial post. So I was like, maybe they just took it down because they've reached capacity, whatever. Long story short, Sasha went into her email and they had canceled the class, which was cool. It was it was fine. We were excited about it. So if it happens again, we're gonna go. But we did we ended up going to PF Chang and E. So right after that, I have my MRI appointment. So I've had an MRI before on my back and it pretty much was like I was sitting in a chair and they took me it lifted me up in the air a little bit and put me in between two partition walls. Everything was open, but it was like I was in a chair in between, like just a little cutout in the wall. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay, this is my hand. Like they're gonna put my hand in some kind of machine and you know, I'll probably be sitting in a chair. When I went into the room, it was that full on grave looking tube. And I freaked out and I was like, I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm clock. I'm not claustrophobic, but I cannot be in this enclosed machine. So, and because it's Saturday and I know everybody wants to be at home and they could be doing a hundred other things other than work. The girl was like, well, you know, I'll give you a panic button. If you need me to stop, I can stop. But you know, this is the only way we can do it. So I had to lay on my stomach. I'm halfway in the tube and I start freaking out. I cannot breathe. So I snatched my mask off and I was like, Lynette, you're gonna have to get get with it. It's 40 minutes. So you have to get with it for 40 minutes. If not, you're gonna have to do this again, or you're gonna have to go to another facility. This is a Saturday. 
This is the perfect appointment. Just breathe through it. I got through it. Praise the Lord. I hope and I'm I'm claiming it that nothing's wrong. Because if they have to fix something that's wrong and they have to do another one of these to prove to themselves that they did it right, I ain't going to do it. I'm not going to be, I can't do it. I, 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 I can't do it. So now I'm going to get myself home. I was like, dang, if I knew it was going to be like that, I would eat me a CBD gummy or something. Calm my A down. Lord, y'all, your girl that came home and told me about this MRI situation and she is traumatized because she thought she was being buried alive. Y'all y'all heard the story. Ain't no use me going back into it. I mean, I didn't but, tell them I thought I was buried alive. I told you. Oh, you didn't tell them that? Yeah, that what she told me. She was like, she was like, them ninjas trying to bury me alive. I'm really I, am traumatized. Like, but I, I saw the machine, though. I, it's, I, I, I don't understand how she felt going in there, but yeah, you, I, I can tell you, you don't want to. She said, I thought that I'm just going to stick my finger and do something. I didn't know that it was gonna put my whole body in the machine. In the for machine. what? <laughs> and then she, then she says for forty, 40 minutes. Manage, man. Forty <laughs> minutes. And I didn't Ooh. tell you this, but the only thing that kept me sane, and I knew it was some BS, was she pulled me in the back and she asked me that I need to use the bathroom first, cause I would have pissed all over myself in that machine stuff. I promise you, I would. It probably would have got electrocuted. Like, there was so much going on in it. It's not funny. Don't lie, though. It's not. <laughs> it's not funny. Because I'm trying not to cry. Oh, so, <laughs> you know, well, she thought she was going to die today? Still, it, it, it's this big. <laughs> and I was on my stomach. So I'm in there. In the, I'm, literally, she was like, okay, you got to get on this machine. I said, oh. Like, my arm don't go in the machine. She was like, no, you have to lay on your stomach and stretch your arm. So she put, like, this weight and this other thing, and she put this encapsulated thing over top of my hand, and I had to do like this. So I'm sitting there like, okay, they only going to put my arm in the machine. So when she started going, <laughs> it's not funny, Stan. It's not funny. I'm laughing. I'm going to tell you why I'm laughing so no, hard. I'm going to tell you why I'm laughing why? so hard. Because you know, if it had been me, it would have been a whole different situation. Because you were way more dramatic than yeah, I Yeah, it would have been. I probably would have took and punched and tore that guy throwing machine up. Y'all so got to finish each other. I got So... And because it's Saturday, I know I knew that my auntie Mabel did not want to be at work, and I didn't want to trouble her. <clears throat> so I said, "I'm gonna be hard about it. I'm gonna figure out a way to get through it." She first she lied to me because she said it was gonna be 20 minutes. When I looked on the clock on the wall, it was 40 freaking minutes. <laughs> So she told me 20 minutes because mentally everybody can probably get through 20 minutes of torture, not 40 freaking minutes. So she took me and you start off low like this and then they bring you up high like this and then they start slowly sliding your into the machine. So she slid me into the machine and I'm like, why the hell is my whole torso in this freaking machine? And I was like, you only need my hand. Why is my torso in this machine? <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. So in my mind, I had to get as much of my body out of this machine as possible. And I had the panic button. And I was like, if I push the button, I'm going to start this process over. I'm going to have to come back another day. It's not funny. Stop laughing. So, so this is probably the most dramatic story you ever hear in your life. But anyway, <laughs> so I have my arm like this in the machine, and my mind told me if I stretch out real hard, that'll give me probably about eight more inches. So I took and had my arm like this, but I stretched my body all the way back like this. So I was stretching my body all the way out like this. And it worked, because when I turned my head like this, I could see the opening. Of the door. I could see the opening right there, and that gave me enough. But what would you, what you would have done if they pushed the button? She did push me back in there. Push it from there. She did. You from there. She did. She did. She took the thing and said, "Oh, she 
saw you trying to back out. Shit. She started. And she pushed my A right back up in there a couple Lord years. Lord have mercy. So I ended up from my stomach oh. to my side. As long as I didn't move my hand, oh. I was fine. So I ended up on my side. And the only thing that got me through it was I couldn't look that way because the, the tunnel was too far that way. I had to turn my head and look this way because I could see the opening and I could see the door. You you came home talking to me like you thought you could see Jesus. I sat in the front of that for 10 minutes. <laughs> I couldn't. You thought it. I don't know Ooh. how people do this. Uh, and I'm not even uh, claustrophobic like that. Like I get in airplanes and everything. That stuff don't bother me. Uh, but that right there? <laughs> Man, I promise you, this was a gummy moment. Shameless. All right, actually, right, actually, you need a gummy? I might need a blunt. <laughs> Shameless plug. If y'all haven't gotten y'all hands on some three cheap gummies, y'all oh, need yeah. to go ahead and get your hands on it. The last time we showed them to y'all on here, we ain't got oh. no more. Because some yeah. things happened and they yeah, got they they been all distributed. Got, yeah, they've been distributed yeah. across oh. the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we don't have no more, but I'm gonna flash it right here. Y'all yeah. can go ahead and um we don't have a coupon code for them anymore. Yeah. But you can go ahead and take advantage of our link and go ahead and get you some three cheap gummies. Yeah. They are the they are yeah, they I, and I need one today and I don't have none. <laughs> yeah, you would need to take one of them before you went in that machine. If I had known it, <laughs> If I had and you the research, bro, you using research all that skit before you do it, and but this time you went by faith and it backfired on you. Last one more time, <laughs> stop, I promise you, it's not gonna end well. I mean, I mean, it happens to us all. You go by faith, think everything gonna be all right. Who and... would have thought that a hand? Why am I in that machine? I don't know, man. I didn't, I didn't create that I'm or design the machine. I'm writing somebody about this. I, I got to get to the bottom of this because this is, I think this that's just being lazy. Who, why don't y'all have a machine for the hand? Why does my whole. Oh, I didn't tell you I snatched the mask off my face. <laughs> because I got in the machine and I couldn't breathe. So I'm sitting there like, I, was like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And I'm sitting there like, if I push the panic button, I got to start over again. So this time I just, I just took the mask and threw it. <laughs> up with this hand, because this hand is in the machine like this, with the weight on it. So I took the mask and I just slung it out the machine. And then I'm just <clears> like, oh my God, I cannot breathe. So I was, I was counting. I was like, and every time the machine, and I had headphones in, which amplified the thoughts in my mind. Because I had the hearing phones in, so all the voices in my head was amplified. And I was I was counting every time these things would make clicks. And the clicking would last for about five minutes. So I said, 20 minutes of these five minute clicking is four. Hours. And when it went beyond four, I said, the winch got me. She got me. And when no. I got out that machine, it no. was a solid 40 minutes. And look, I'm upset about it. Look, when we go through stuff, it's it's an opportunity for us to learn something. I don't, so, I don't no, wait, learn wait. shit. <laughs> what did you learn from Nothing. this year? Don't fall out. I know what you learned. Not to fall out. <laughs> I know exactly what you learned. That you ain't taking your tail in an MRI machine. Never. Never ever no. a day So in even your if life. they find something wrong with my thumb and they got to do something with it, you just going to have to buy fake things. Because I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, on another note, y'all, I definitely feel much better from the way I was feeling yesterday. So thank you again, Queen. But back to this frog. The last part y'all left off, I think we was trying to wash him trying off. to wash him off with the sprinkler system over in the parking lot. So we finally pulled into a parking spot over at Ross. at Ross. And so the frog, uh, well, back up a little bit. So when we was driving over to a parking spot at Ross, she shot him with some of the the uh, windshield wiper fluid. And so he just basically just slid up the window and she just went crazy. Oh! Like okay. he, was, he went from the bottom of the windshield to in my sight. Like he was stuck to it and looking at me going. 
Yup. <laughs> and I was like, stay on the, if I open the door, this frog is going to jump on me. I know it. I have to figure out a way to get this frog off. And I didn't want to spray him with the wish away with fluid because I said, you know, that stuff got chemicals in it. So I kind of just did like a little spritz, like enough that he would feel it and jump off. But he didn't jump off. He jumped up <laughs> higher. <laughs> so we pulled up into the parking spot and I was like, you gotta just got to get out. She was like, no. I was like, well, you're going to have to take the windshield wiper and you're going to have to hit him and knock him off. That's the only way you're going to get off because, see, I'm not. I'm not like totally afraid of frogs. But I don't want to me. But I don't want to mow me because my cousin, when I was little, <laughs> Here we go. took a frog and put it down my shirt. And I just went crazy. And ever since then, uh, I don't want a frog near me just because of that. I ain't scared of him. I just don't want him near me. Oh, you scared of him. But, but anyway. <laughs> so finally, she took the windshield wiper and hit the frog. And the frog, <laughs> the frog, Jumped off the window and jumped over across and landed on the next door car, the car that was next to us. And so, was sitting there like and this. And was still sitting there, just like he was on that on that I wouldn't. So Lynette was like, look, look, let me get on camera, let me get on camera. So I she, picked the camera up. Yeah. <laughs> and was get ready to record him on the door. Instead of said, put the camera down. I said, put the camera down. I said, I think the girl for the car is coming. She's coming, she's coming. And lo and behold, it was her. And I was like, is she going to see that frog? And she opened her door and saw that frog, and she hollered just as loud as Lynette. Ah! But here's the thing. Then I hollered. I said, ah! she hollered too. And so the girl was like, okay, okay, we're safe. We're safe. I was like, little do you know, I put him on your car. Hey, I, thought, I thought she was, I thought, she, I thought the queen was going to tell her that, she, that we ah! did it. No, I wasn't going to tell her that I slung it on your car. So, yeah, that's that's the, yeah, that's what happened. We, but we threw frog, our frog on somebody else's car. But the frog... She she screamed and the frog jumped off oh. and jumped on the curb. That frog stayed on the curb. We went inside of Ross and stayed there for probably 35 minutes. When we got back, the frog was still on the curb. Man, I guess I guess that frog had some rum and some red boo. He, he won't go near my, my uh -huh. machine new. <laughs> they need to be, they need to do something about the machines that's closed up like that. They got that open ones, because my mama goes in the open ones when she gets her MRIs. Oh yeah. Where it's like you got like the the circle, then it's open. Back at the MRIs, y'all. There's. I was trying to get us away from it. Of course, she going back. That's in the past now, man. It's, it's not, over. It's, it's over. No, it was like forty five minutes over. ago. It's over. Like Michael Jackson <laughs> said, they had me in there for forty five minutes, <laughs> <laughs> and they asked me is it sneaky in there. He said. It's okay. It's all right. When she came in there and she opened that door and she slid me out there, man, I ain't never got up off of a table so fast in my life. <laughs> God, in my life. I, I got up so fast I felt dizzy. Man. It's I was, right. we, no, it's, it's okay. It's not. So first the frog yesterday. Now I'll, today the MRI machine. I'll take the frog. So the I'll frog, that was, that was nothing. That, that was, was nothing. nothing. That was nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Oh my god. I ain't never had nothing to have me sitting in my car trying to get myself together to dry. Now mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't been in whole accidents and they ain't did that to me. But check out my face. My face is getting skin to y'all. Yeah it is. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Look, me and Sasha was red tea. When I say we was red tea. Did you tell them what you would what 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 you was going to do? No. You still ain't told them yet? Mm -mm. I don't even know if I told y'all what had happened. That <clears throat> there was a possible exposure to COVID, so they, they canceled the class. Yeah. So tell, let them know what you was going to do, man. We was going to do some um, some bedroom candy type of dancing. Just say that. There we go. It was more of sensual, <clears throat> um, exotic, erotica type of dancing like tap into yeah. your inner yeah yeah that time i was looking dancing. forward to her going and learning some of that me and bring, too and bringing some of that home back here tonight oh uh -huh. i said wait a minute so i told so, Sasha so you just gonna have to go ahead and do your old dances until you can learn the new ones i right? know yeah i told sasha whenever they um re um reschedule <clears throat> that class let me know Cause we're definitely gonna go, but it was so funny. She said, "Lena, it looks closed." I said, "No, it's not. It's not closed. It just looks dark in there." For the door, said, "Oh shoot, this." <laughs>
club. I mean, it's locked up a bit. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, but she was like, why didn't they update their Instagram where we found the class at? I said, right. Hmm. You found the class on Instagram, you would think that's where you would do your updates as well. You know, but they did send an email. Well, all right, y'all. I'm going to finish taking care of this queen and get her untraumatized like she did me yesterday. And we're going to catch y'all in the next freaking vlog. Straight from the VA. That dirty, dirty stuff. Two up. Two down. Holla!